What's up, y'all? I am Marcus. I will be your hunter today here on Yarnum FM, where we are going to begin taking apart Yarhagol, the Unseen Village. Now, this place, it looks really nasty, and it honestly is pretty nasty. A lot of people I know have a lot of difficulty with this area, so we're going to just kind of take it, take it nice and easy and pick it apart piece by piece and if you do that uh, it's really not that bad uh, it's still pretty easy to die just because the enemies can hit you pretty hard but overall not too bad got a bloodstone chunk man this is really like for a game that's so detailed and what have you just looking down there and just seeing brick that's really weird but anyway um, one thing I wanted to point out these kind of statues if these were sculpted by human hands, then it's really interesting of kind of the cult that's behind Yar Hagol, like what sort of mentality they have. Like they still have human intelligence, right? Because you're, you're doing things like sculpting and stuff like that, but just their subject matter is quite grotesque. And then again, I don't know, maybe they just like grotesque stuff. I mean, that's just, yeah, that's so ugly. Uh, maybe it's like that. Right down here. You wanna take a shot at me? Thank you. You wanna die? Thank you. Alright. You notice that blood that just sprayed off of him there. Uh, a lot of enemies around here have this buff. Makes them a lot stronger than they would normally be. Shortcut elevator, of course we can't use it yet. But um, those enemies will also respawn. Now, it may feel never ending, but there actually is a way to end it. There are these bell ringing women that we need to defeat in our journey. And as we defeat each bell ringer, we clear an area basically. Like, those enemies won't respawn anymore. Well, not until the next trip. Iron helmet worn by hunters of the Unseen Village. Removing the hood reveals something reminiscent of a warrior of a previous age. This headwear is made of metal, a rarity for physical or for hunter garb, and has high defense, but only against physical attacks. Uh, pretty much the same as the black hooded version, except it doesn't have the hood. And I'm gonna stick with my top hat. <laughs> Somebody said I look like a corrupted Burger King last time. Now I look like a corrupted Monopoly guy, I guess. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright. Now that enemy will respawn, but... I just want to take it e easy here. Kill these enemies a couple at a time. Be careful of the grab. I'll let that pass. And now we need to rush through here and kill the bell ringer. Like, don't bother fighting those enemies right now because they're just going to respawn. You need to kill her. And when you kill her, they stagger and lose their, their buff. And then you can go back and pick them off if you want to. Oh shit. Oh god. Firebombs. Asshole. And you. Come on. Oh. That's too short range. <laughs> Blade of Mercy's jump attack doesn't have a whole lot of range on it there, does it? Ooh, there's an item up there. Are you gonna try to grab me? You're gonna try to grab me, but I'm gonna go for the item anyway. Hey, a blood vial. And <laughs> these guys trying to grab us. We're gonna we're gonna learn more about them as we proceed. So don't worry. I'm not just ignoring the giant things creepy crawling all over the damn buildings. Like we're just. As, as we come to it, you know what I'm saying? So that was the first section. 
Not too bad, right? Pick up a bolt, damp blood gem. Damp blood gem. Damp is kind of a level of blood gem. Just kind of an indication that it's a higher tier. Uh, where the frick did it go? I seriously must have just looked. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Waning gem. So you see this one's a rating 12. And it gets that damp prefix there. But that bolt damage. Woo! 16.5. Woo! That's pretty strong. Pretty strong. The Mensis ritual must be stopped. Lest we all become beasts. Uh, a lot of people with a little bit of juvenile jokes about the name Mensis. No, it's cool. It's cool. Menses, for those of you guys who don't know, refers to the menstrual cycle of a woman. It's, uh, and for those of you guys, you guys who don't know that, that's once a woman, you know, got a little discharge there, a little bit of blood. It's nothing, nothing big, no big deal, guys. Uh, but an interesting thing about it, uh, Mensis also pertains to the moon. The meaning of Mensis also pertains to the moon because it's talking about something that happens on a monthly cycle. So this is kind of a double right here. The, the, the Mensis ritual, like... You're talking about it from one one perspective. You're thinking about uh, the female reproductive system, but uh, on the other hand, we're also talking about the moon. <laughs> and so that that was that was when I first saw the name, I was like, "That's a stupid name." <laughs> but then when you actually stop and think about it, you're like, "Oh, oh, it's got more meanings than I thought it does," and it actually has one more meaning that we'll find out later. But um, the Mentis ritual must be stopped before we all, or lest we all become beasts. We know that the the red moon blurs the distinction between man and beast <clears throat> and we know that they're using uh, newborns to beckon the moon so Let's take it nice and easy here kill the guy that pops up behind you these brick guys same as they have been since the beginning of the game just to, they're strong they're strong but wow No big deal. Kill them and move on. And then in here, don't stop to mess around with all this, these little guys. Get in here and take out the source of the problem. And we did it. That's it. <laughs> really not too bad, right? Oh, people were asking about dropping attacks. If you're new to Souls, uh, or rather Bloodborne, from Soft... <laughs> Soulsborne? <laughs> if you're new to Soulsborne, when you fall, while you're falling, push R1. You do that dropping attack. It's been like that since Dark Souls. Demon Souls didn't have it, but... Alright, now we're in here... <clears throat> Make sure I don't miss any items. When you go in a cage, get the items. I thought you were an enemy. You appear to just be a mummified corpse. Get that frenzied cold blood. We know these people ain't sane. We don't need that lore to tell us that. Oh, there's another item over there too. Item over here, item over there. You know how we feel about them items. We like them. Air rune. Once again, we picked up one of those from Henrik earlier. I don't think that necessarily means that he has any Mensis connection. Uh, but just acknowledges the visceral hunt. The visceral attacks as one of the darker hunter techniques. Perhaps the heir is a hunter who bears the echoing will of those who come before him. Hmm. 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 Alright. The way to proceed forwards down there... This is kind of a really interesting... This is a mini shortcut. I kind of like this. Like, you open up this shortcut and it comes... These are the stairs we came down from earlier after the first encounter. We went through this broken wall right here. <clears throat> so the first time you come through, you have to stop and you have to fight all this stuff and go through and then fight the bell woman. But uh, on subsequent run-throughs, if you just want to dash straight through the area and just, like, avoid all of it, you can. And, uh, it's just, it's not a big shortcut, but it's, I like, I like the idea of these kind of micro shortcuts. I like it. I like it. Now, there's lots of enemies around here. 
and they're all being powered up by a bell ringer. And if you don't know this little trick, if you don't know this one weird trick, <laughs> um, it can be a little bit more of a problem. But there's a broken rail right here, and what you want to do is hop down on the broken rail. And be careful coming in here. Because there is an asshole that I'm going to regret pushing off there. Kill this bell ringer, things are going to get a lot easier for you. And much more importantly, there's a key down here to an optional area. The upper cathedral key. And I want you to look at this. This is somebody wearing the choir set right here in this, uh, this chair. I was looking to see if he was bound to the chair. They don't actually have him bound to the chair, but I guess it doesn't matter because he's in a cage. So he's he's clearly imprisoned here. Or it looks fairly certain that he's imprisoned. I'll put it like that. Nothing's ever certain, right? But the upper cathedral key, the key to the upper cathedral ward seal. The upper echelons of the healing church are formed by the school of Mensis based in the unseen village and the choir occupying the upper cathedral ward. This key brings one a step closer to the choir. So we're starting to get closer to the other major branch of the Healing Ward Church. Now, there's two branches of the Healing Ward Church. There's the School of Mensis and the Choir. Um, are they on friendly terms with one another? Are they like... They don't appear to be on friendly terms at all, do they? <laughs> let's, just, let's just look at this kind of from a logical standpoint. Now, they could be. They could be. Nothing's ever certain. <laughs> but man, this dude doesn't look like he's doing too good. So, can't hit you through there. You can probably hit me through that. Want to be cold here. Want to be cold. Want to be careful here. Want to be careful here. Oh shit! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I didn't get, I didn't get my visceral in time. I knew the gunner was there, but... Stupid gooners! <laughs> get wrecked, son. Ooh, that damage, man. That was a hard hit. Hey. Die. And give me some vials. Yeah, atta boy. Where'd that one go? <laughs> hey! Hey, where you go, man? Wait. Seriously, where did he go? It's a mystery. Did I actually kill him? I didn't kill him, did I? Oh, well. I guess nothing bad could... Could possibly come from having an enemy who's identifi or whose location is unidentified. <coughs> Tiny Tenitris. Tiny Tenitris, yeah. <laughs> Tiny Tenitris. Uh, Tenitris is a unique weapon crafted by Archbald, the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church Workshop. This is a similar Morningstar mace that utilizes quick silver bullets. When struck into the ground, it recreates the blue sparks that are said to surround the Dark Beast. Like Archibald's masterpiece, this too is a superb conductor of the powerful blue sparks. Uh, shoots a line of fucking lightning, but uh, in order to use it, you have to have 25 arcane, and it, it costs 6 bullets to use. Um, it's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, it's alright. I mean... Uh, magic overall it's kind of the, not really great I, don't, I can't say disappointing because there's a couple of spells that are just really powerful in specific situations but all right now we got to come up this way there should be some enemies up here wanting to fight us oh nope maybe killing the bell ringer got rid of them interesting to me that these bodies are not chained to the chairs at all they're not tied to the chairs at all and obviously he's not in any sort of large cage <coughs> so he has the cage on his head it makes him look like a prisoner but his bodily movements pretty unrestricted it's it's a it's a good detail to remember for later 
I see you coming in over here. I see you. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in, bitch. And this is back where we were before. Let me just keep you guys, make sure you keep your bearings. Like, this was the room where we opened up that mini shortcut, that micro shortcut. And then we came out these stairs. And we proceeded over there, and we dropped off that rail right there. That's where we dropped down from. Down to there, and we went in there and killed the bell ringer who powers up all these enemies. <clears throat> And we just taking it easy, boys. We just taking it, ladies and gentlemen. We just taking it nice and easy. That's all we're doing. Oh shit! That ain't what I wanted. Oh, you get wrecked. Mercy spin. Spinning mercy. Spinning mercy's better. I like spinning mercy. We got some more. Yeah, we got some more enemies. Cool. Spinning mercy! Ooh, there's lots of you! There's a lots of you! Give us a hug! I can't remember who suggested the hug name. Give us a hug! Ooh. Hey you, get wrecked! Give us a hug. <laughs> really? Yes, it's always a team four-star reference. If it's if it sounds like it's even remotely close to being a reference. It's probably a reference. Oh shit! Okay, as you see, <laughs> the laser doesn't hurt you, but the exploding ground after the laser does hurt you. Which is some pretty fucking fancy technology now that I think about it. How did they make a, a laser? I mean, I guess it's demon god thing, but how does the laser not hurt me, but it makes the ground explode, and the exploding ground can hurt me? Like, it just don't... Oh, man, it doesn't make no sense, man. So anyway, here's the... the anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> no. Oh, Mercy Spin did not hit. I want my funky chunkies. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Now we can head back to the dream. That's the first section of Yar Hargol. You did it. You did it, guy. You did it, man. You did it, buddy. I'm gonna upgrade my shit. Dude, uh, dude, uh. Oh, yeah. We are getting really close to having a max weapon. It's so fun. Yay! One thing, uh... I, I want to show you guys this. I want to demonstrate this. I, pro I probably need to make a separate video talking about this, but... Uh, these elemental weapons... Like, if you want to make a weapon elemental, we can take this threaded cane here... And we stick in... Wait, the fuck? Do I not have? Okay, I apparently don't. Oh, I need a waning. I need a waning rune. Oh, I don't have. Well, that's just awkward. We'll have to do it another day. <laughs> we'll have to talk about all that another day. Uh, see if we can level up real quick. Uh, how are we doing on blood vials? I don't like the fact that you can't just look right here and see how many blood vials you have. I don't like that. I don't like it! Oh, we're good. We're fine. So let's level up. I think I even got some. We'll save it. Welcome home, good hunt. What is it? Very well, let me. Yeah, we'll take the skill, man. <clears throat> Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Alright, now... 
before we can, we'll, we'll probably continue with Yarhar Gold next time. First, I want to, to talk about a couple of things real quick that are one, one really important thing. So let's do that first. All right, so we're back in Cathedral Ward. This is important if you've if you've beat Rom, the vacuous spider, and you've proceeded to the Blood Moon time zone, I guess you call it. Um, but you didn't go into Yarhagol and light the lamp, or if you got grabbed up by the guy and you're stuck and you don't know how to get into Yarhagol, like this is the way to Hemwick, right? If you go down this path right over here. Uh, it actually will lead you back to Yarhagol. Now, it's kind of an annoying path with a lot of butthole monsters and enemies and stuff, but you can get back to Yarhagol by going down here. Down this path. Uh, I guess let's just do it. I don't know. I haven't been down here in a long time. I don't even remember what all the enemies are like. This is one of those strange little side areas that you don't necessarily have to do. But... What's gonna happen if I fall down there? Hmm. Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. No, I lost him and now I'm trapped. Shit. Am I trapped or are you trapped? It looks like you were trapped. This is the bolt paper dog. <laughs> uh, I think that lizard or that wandering madness only gives twin shards. I don't really remember 100%. And that's kind of, yeah, I'm pretty sure he only gives twin shards because that would be way too early to get a chunk. I mean, if he gives chunks then I'm making a huge mistake by not reloading this area and getting it, but... Frenzy Cold Blood. A rifle spear? Ludwigs? Oh my god, you're so annoying. Oh my god, he parried me. <laughs> In case you're wondering why these enemies are so weak. It's because you can come here really early in the game. And now you can't get to Yar Hagol until... Oh my god, he got me again. I'm having a spam R1 on him. I'm not doing a lot of damage. There we go. Uh, you can't get to Yarha Goal on th through this path until you have entered Blood Moon time by beating Rom. But you can go to Nightmare Frontier down here if you have the Tonsil Stone. Um, so you have to at least get to the woods to get anything out of it. I need to come here sooner and get these dialogues, though. I forgot about that. I forgot there were dialogues down here. Let me just show you the rest of the path. And I, I, I'm only showing this. I know people are like, why the hell? What's This is a waste of time. But it's not a waste of time for the people who are stuck and don't know how to get to Yarha Goal. Uh, and I know I've had people asking me this question. And it's one of those things... Just like with Rom the Spider, people are like, well, that's actually kind of obvious. You know, it's got a glowing portal down there if you look down. If you look down, yes, it is. And if you read the key, yes, it is. Uh, it's fairly obvious overall. But if you miss it, you miss it. And you are going to have trouble. Hey, oh, damn, they still hurt. Those guns, man. Being shot with a gun, just don't matter what your level is, it always hurts. Well, I mean, it does matter, but... I thought there was a way to get on those cliffs from above. As a matter of fact, I know there's a way to get on those cliffs from above. Probably gotta come up here. Yep. 
It's tricky, 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 tricky. This game, man. <laughs> the level design is just really great. It just, it's just really great. And I'm not, and I'm th not talking about how the levels look or anything like that. I'm just talking about how they flow. Oh god, that was great. That was great. You were cursed. No, you are cursed. Kick in the face. Mercy. Boot. <laughs> I don't know. At least I got my blood vials back. Make sure there's not an item over here. Come on. Oh, I knew I was too early, but oh no. No, 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 the wandering madnesses. Get back here. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me kill you. Let me kill you. Thank you. All that for some damn twin shards. Get out of here. I said get out of here. Mash R1 on your ass. I don't give a shit. Well, I lost the other one, but you can always come back. Uh, and if you come back from the other direction, you can go to the Yarhagol lamp down here. Which I'll actually just show where that is. Oh, that actually might be our first lead elixir now that I think about it. It is. How about that? A heavy syrupy liquid medicine. Temporarily shifts weight to make deflection of attacks easier, but must be used with care as it also slows movement with no change to defense. Its recipe for this mysterious concoction is unknown, but some postulate that it materializes only within the most desperate nightmares. Uh, it's basically like Iron Flesh from Dark Souls. Like, it makes a lot of enemy attacks bounce off of you. It gives you an amount of super armor. Uh, but on the other hand... Uh, you can't move quickly. You can, however, still roll and sidestep. So that's an interesting point. But here we're back at the Yarhagol place. Still not going to Nightmare Frontier yet. We're going to go there later. But we're just going to run back down here to the Yarhagol lamp. I wanted to show you guys that alternate path. Uh, so that people who are stuck can get unstuck. Because, yeah. It's one of those things. If you know, it's no big deal. If you don't know, it can be a, a really annoying, <laughs> annoying part of the game. Well, what is very damage? Uh, damage. Uh, damage. Uh, damage. Destruction, terror. And mayhem, pass me a sissy, so sucker, I slay him. Farmers, what? Farmers, what? I'm ready, we're ready. I think I'm on a bomb of town. And when I heard you on the radio, uh, I just don't know what made you forget that I was wrong. <laughs> so last time, I apologize. I thought we'd already talked about this. She left a note saying, wait just a, a wee bit longer, my little sweet pea. And then... She came out here into the graveyard. I thought we'd already talked about this. And you find some sedatives on her corpse. And it seems as though she was venturing outside to bring you sedatives because you kept telling her about how many troubles you had. And she gave you all of the sedatives that she could give you. And she told you, hey, wait, I got to go. Just just wait. I'm, mother's going to take care of everything uh, and be patient. And then she went out and she came back with a sedative. And then you told her that again. And apparently she came out here again to get you some sedatives and died. That's kind of what's implied. That's what's kind of heavily implied, but... We lost one. Oh, kind hunter. The old girl. The old girl you sent over. She's dead. Killed. Stone dead. Why? Must have been a beast, right? Or do you think someone out there could oh, oh, I just don't... Oh... Well... I do know. 
It's my fault. Oh my... Uh, don't be so hard on yourself. It's really not your fault. Was it a beast? Or could someone from outside have come in and... Oh, I just... Don't know. <laughs> uh, don't worry too much. It's all good. Uh, let's go and I'm gonna show you where the upper cathedral ward key is used. And after that... Uh, we'll probably wrap it up, and then we'll continue next episode back in Yarnagol. I do want to continue with that level. <coughs> Before we go do this optional stuff, but... Oh, no! Oh, no. Thanks to the bullets. Give us a hug. Y'all remember this tower, right? You plague ridden rat. At first, I thought he was saying, You vagrant rat, and I was like, Hmm. <laughs> Well then, what is it? Alright. Thought there was going to be some enemies over there. Oh yeah, he would have been trolling around. Not trolling around, patrolling or patrolling. I said paw. I really did. You're too slow. Old Doc Brown looking motherfucker. Here it is. One step closer to the choir. Did you try to bite my ankle dog? That's cute. <coughs> Notice the color of blood from these guys is the same as the color of blood from Willem when we killed him. Gotta love the music around here. I can't remember if there's a lamp right ahead or not. I kind of would like for there to be one. But I guess not, so we'll just bold hunter out and we'll come back here when we're gonna do the area. I thought there was a lamp. Oh well. God, that music is so spooky. This area's gonna be something else. <laughs> Let's continue unraveling the secrets of Mensis on the next Yarnum FM. Yarhagal is such a terrible name. <laughs>